good morning so today i'm starting another little weekly vlog i've got five days off and um, i've not got anything crazy planned but i've got a few nice days to share with you so i'm going to be vlogging wednesday through to sunday and um, i didn't vlog last week just because i was so burnt out like i just really needed to recharge and um, macy also got spared so i spent a lot of time just chilling on the sofa with her and um, she's fine now thankfully um i had a doctor's appointment i went and got my nails done um so yeah just was able to actually relax for once and recharge so this morning um i've got up i've put my little eye patches on i've got dressed which by the way i'm wearing an autumn jumper and it's literally the 9th is it the 9th yeah the 9th of august what is going on but normally on a day off, I get up and I want to start getting things done. I want to clean the house. I want to just be up and about. And this morning I woke up early. I felt really tired, but I couldn't get back to sleep. So I've decided I've made myself a little cup of tea, got my eye patches on. <laughs> Miley's coming to say hello. Um, I'm going to light a candle and I'm going to sit in the living room and watch an episode of Heartstopper because um, the new season's out. So I'm just going to have a really relaxed morning. Um, so yeah, as I said, just got a few nice days planned. Big peek though, I'm going to be starting another little series on my channel. So it's not going to be part of the vlogs, it's going to be a separate video. But I have ordered a bunch of beads to start making bracelets and phone charms so louise pentland is one of my favorite youtubers and she started doing a monday night live video where she does crafts a range of things um but yeah i was really interested in this so i'm going to start doing it myself um i'm a very crafty person and um, i want to start scrapbooking as well i've had some scrapbooks from paper chase going on about 10 years not even exaggerating um literally when i like finished school and I never got around to using them so what I also did the other day is I did a massive order of photos on the free prints app um, and that's where you get like 40 photos for free um, and yeah I'm going to start scrapbooking as well so if crafts are your kind of thing then do stay tuned for that because they might actually already be on this channel because I think I'm a little bit behind posting vlogs anyway I'm going to go in the living room have my cup of tea and have a relaxed morning and I will check back in with you soon check back in with you um i've just had a really nice kind of morning and afternoon very chilled um it's only like half one now but i went to the doctors with my mom and um, on the way home got a fat sauce which if you're not familiar is like a sandwich shop so me and james had a really nice lunch and um, also had one of these um, which is the mocha Starbucks drink, which is really nice. And then me and Jim sat on the sofa and watched a film and just chilled out. And it has been such a long time since we've been able to do that. Like, unless it's on an evening after work while we're having our tea, like to sit on the sofa during the day and truly just relax is very rare. Um, and then me and James have just took Macy for a little walk. Obviously she's been spared recently. So we're just starting to take on little walks now again, which is nice. Um, but yeah. Uh, that's been today so far. I'm just about to speed clean the kitchen because it is a mess. I might do like a little time lapse of me cleaning it, but it's just piled up because we've been so tired.
So I've just come upstairs out to the office. One, to give it a good clean, um, but also to do a bit of rearranging. I plan to bring the little spare desk that we have in the spare room into here, um, to that side of the room. This is a very small room, so it's going to be a little bit more cramped, but to be honest, as long as I've got room to access everything, then it should be fine. Um, the desk that's going to be there is going to be my little craft desk. It's got a little drawer that I'm going to hopefully put my beads into, and when I film craft videos and plan with me, is I plan to put my little tripod over on the windowsill facing down on the desk because this desk I absolutely love it but it is a little bit trickier um just because there's less space because of this section here at the top um so yeah my office is very much a mess um it normally gets quite messy because one I stand and do my skincare makeup there two I you know shoot content get loads of photos and videos in here so things get kind of thrown around I plan use lots of stationery use my computer um this bag here and this big bag here is full of presents for my mum because it's her 50th on Friday so I'm going to go through what I've got her um probably tomorrow when I wrap everything up but yeah I'm just going to try and spend you know like 20 minutes half an hour just cleaning and decluttering and then moving the desk in here so i can start to organize everything um for my little craft setup so that's the plan this is the current state of it so again i'm going to do a little speed clean but i think i'm going to bring the fan in here because it's getting quite warm this is how we're looking definitely a lot tidier than earlier and um, so obviously i've moved this desk in so this is the desk it's got like a little drawer it's just from ikea and um, this is where i'm going to keep all of the crafty bits i've just got everything laid out on the top because i've been filming like a little um unboxing kind of tiktok reel video um showing the beads and i've just been opening them out of the little packets so i'm going to continue that later i'm going to sit down and do a bit of planning and um, because soon i'm going to be going to my mum and dad's for tea and then me and jess are going to go to the gym but yeah that's how things are going um when i'm not using this desk i'm going to push it into there so that there is more space as i said it's quite a small room so there's not a massive amount of space anyway but at least i've got that area to just push it in and yeah i'm so happy with it like it just makes such a difference having an extra like surface in the room <laughs> morning it's now a thursday please do excuse the frizzy mess my hair is um i've just got up got in the shower and got dressed um i'm gonna get ready soon and we're gonna head out so that i can go and collect my little plate from the pottery painting event i went to the other week i'm really excited to see what it looks like because obviously um when they get fired the colors just change very dramatically uh, so i'm really looking forward to seeing how it turned out and um, i've got a few things to collect from work as well and then i'm going to come home I'm going to show you everything I've got from my mum for her birthday, wrap things up, uh, probably do some more planning, film my first craft video, um, and then probably just chill for a bit. I'm going to get my hair dyed this evening with my sister Jess, she's getting hers done as well, um, and I'm getting blonde put back in it, so I'm looking forward to it, but I've got mixed feelings because... I always loved being blonde, but my hair was so like dry and damaged. And I think I've done quite a good job. I mean, it's still quite dry and frizzy generally, but I've done quite a good job of growing it out and just maintaining things, like keeping on top of getting it caught and using hair, um, like heat protection things. So yeah, we'll see. But I'm just gonna um, feed Macy, clean the kitchen a little bit because it's a mess again. <laughs> and then I'm gonna get ready to go out.
I did already see it though, because she like, I feel bad that I've lost it down here. No, we're not even touching it, it's not even going in the kitchen. It's staying in my office. Colour. Huh? But obviously like the blueberries, I was like, hopefully they are actually blue and not like <laughs> lilac or something. And the strawberries are obviously red. Thank you. I'm gonna keep it in my office, I think, to put stuff on. If you know the words of the right marching. Can you? which I did give you a little key card in the car but I thought I'd show you it again and um, so collected the plate we then went to Tim Hortons for a little spontaneous brunch and um, I got one of their little muffins and hash browns and oh my god it's so good um, and then on the way home I called into work to collect some stuff sorry if you can't hear me over all the tissue paper but look at it I absolutely love this I think it turned out so much better than I had in my head and I just love the little gingham print and all of the fruit so this is just so cute I'm going to keep it in the office as like a bit of a trinket dish I think or just like on display I'm not going to use it because it is just too cute I really want to go pottery painting for my birthday which is in September and maybe decorate some um autumnal um pottery um but yeah that's my little play so um i'm not going to get my hair done tonight anymore because it got cancelled um, and rearranged to next week which is a little bit disappointing but it does mean that i've got more time to just chill at home today so i'm probably going to spend the majority of this afternoon in the office doing some crafts doing some planning but before that i'm going to sit and uh, wrap up my mum's gifts it's her 50th birthday tomorrow and um, she's having like a little family party on saturday just at her house um so i've got her some nice little presents that I'm just going to sit and wrap up so I thought I would show you what I got her so my mum's quite easy to buy for she's like a typical mum she likes you know like slippers perfume that kind of stuff um but she's going on her first ever cruise on the 19th of August and um, she's going on the Pino Ventura I think it's to Spain and Portugal um, we're actually going on the Ventura ship in two years time to the Canary Islands um, but yeah it's her first ever cruise and just a very nice special holiday for her 50th birthday so I got her two nice presents and then the rest are all kind of cute little summer holiday kind of vibes um, for her cruise so I've got some things from Inavon I'll show you the nice presents first so in this bag we have um oh this is the tissue paper that i got um everything's kind of like a blue and white because that just feels very cruisy to me um like a ship the gift is this rituals gift set which has the most gorgeous packaging ever it's got a shower gel a body cream a body scrub and a candle and you can see everything on there so she really likes rituals and whenever we would go to Amsterdam on the DFDS um, ship um, I would always buy her something from rituals for like her birthday um, just got a few cards one from like me and James one for my dad to give to her um, and then I got her some earrings which she actually picked herself um, 
she normally prefers surprises but with earrings she can only have like proper gold or silver um and i just wanted to make sure she would like them so i got her to pick them i'm just going to move this out the way so these are the earrings from f hines they're nine karat gold and cubic zirconia um and they're just really pretty simple earrings she's got some like sparkly kind of outfits and things and shoes and things for the cruise so just something nice and simple that i'll go with what she's wearing so that's the nice presents so i'm gonna put them there um and then on to the more kind of like random stuff so this is a little bag that the nice presents are gonna go in um and then this bag here is like a like a beach bag actually this hairbrush is for me so i'm just gonna move that out of the way i got that from home bargains so yeah this is like a beach bag and it was three pounds from Primark, and i thought i would buy it to put all of the like little summery birthday presents in and then she can take it on the cruise as well um so before i go on to those i bought some stuff for the party from morrison's i've got her a little cake which i'm going to decorate probably tomorrow and um, so i've got a five and a zero for the cake and they are blue and sparkly because that's our little theme and then for the actual um like decoration so i got a little um table cover from morrison's um and it's just a very nice summery lemony print which i just thought was very fitting because like i said i want it to be like a summer vibe kind of party and um, ready for her little holiday some matching straws and matching plates so i just need some like plain um napkins because i couldn't find any in these prints so i got those from morrison's or the matching cups as well nearly forgot about those so i'll just pop them all there moving on to the little gifts i got for her holiday i picked up some things from avon so the first one is a wrap around towel and it's in a really pretty blue and white print it just looks very summery and um, she didn't really need to take a towel because there's towels on board but i thought with this being a wrap around i just thought it'd be really useful and handy and comfy um, for when she's in the room or if she's got the pool or the beach so this teal coloured wrap around towel i then got her a little candle set which obviously isn't for isn't for the cruise but it is summer themed it's called italian summer now she's not actually going to italy but i just thought it was a really nice little selection of candles so you get three like votives in there um, and they're just really cute and got her a perfume she did actually want a perfume this is the golden burst avon perfume which literally was just eight pound it smells really nice really fruity and summery and i thought with an affordable perfume obviously if it breaks or if she loses it or anything like that on the cruise then it doesn't matter because it was just a cheap one um so it's obviously like an, an orange box and it is an orange color as well i feel like most of the things i've bought are like blue orange or yellow so very very summery sticking with the theme so i just thought that'd be nice she normally gets a more like expensive nicer perfume at christmas and um, so i just thought that would do for the holiday and then i had to get this which is a little body mist and it is called getaway dreams and it's got like a little beach picture on there so again just fitting in with the theme perfectly i thought that was really cute so that's what i got from avon so yeah the bag was from prima i've got her some snacks to take away on holiday these are just some like little fun size whip bars which look really nice um, and then i've got some more sweets obviously sticking with the orange and yellow things we've got some harry ball sweets this little selection which looked really nice some chips and some jelly tots i know she likes jelly tots um i then got oh yeah i've got some little candles so these are called ocean breeze so she's obviously not going to take candles with her away on holiday um but she always needs like little tea lights and things because she's got quite a few wax burners and i thought because they were called ocean breeze it just fits in with the theme perfectly got some little scrunchies if she wants to put her hair up i just thought these colors are very her um and i just thought they were really cute got this little lip balm that looks like an ice lolly i just thought that would be really fun for her to take with her a little lip balm um another little fun thing is a little hand gel it's got like a little pineapple little carrier thought that'd be good to go on her handbag i then got her a few masks 
next I got her a foot peel mask I thought she could do that before she goes on holiday so that she's got nice sandal ready feet um, and then I've got some little eye masks from Garnier so I've got a brightening one and a hydrating one I just thought they'd be nice when she's in the cabin chilling got a little nail polish she was thinking about getting some gels done um but she decided not to she said she just wants some painting so me or jess will probably paint her nails and i said if she picked out a color um then obviously that can be a little present for her so she just picked this one up which is the maybelline fast gel in twisted tulip and that's just a really nice pink um then got her a little nighty um so this has stitch on how cute and it says vacay mode Um, she said she didn't really need any pajamas or anything but i wanted to get her some new pajamas for the cruise so she said she'd have a nighty so i got her that one which i thought was really cute and that was eight pounds so just something nice and comfortable for her to wear on the cruise and that is it obviously she's got the bag there so that's everything that i got for her birthday as i said i'm going to pack everything up write the card out put the nice presents in the nice bag and then all the other ones in tissue paper in here and um, but yeah i think she'll be happy with that she really didn't want like too much getting and um, like my dad hasn't bought her anything because they're going to get something while they're away on holiday which makes sense um but i just wanted to get her some nice things that she could take away and that would be useful for her and then i'm also going to make her a bracelet so i think i'm going to make it kind of like blue white and gold i'm going to put letters on saying ventura which is the name of the cruise and when i was looking through these little um clear beads there's actually some that look like life rings and crabs and i think there's like whales or dolphins and shells and flowers so i thought i could make her a really cute little bracelet to symbolize the cruise as well and almost forgot I got her this holiday cash scratch card as well to put in her card. So I've just finished planning. Um, I'm now about to head out to Sainsbury's because we need some pet food and I need some icing for my mum's cake that I'm decorating tomorrow. Um, I was going to sit and film the crafting video um, and sit and make bracelets, but I feel like I need a bit of practice before I jump into it. So tonight I'm going to just sit and maybe watch some like YouTube on my laptop and just sit and practice doing it. And then tomorrow morning, probably after I've took my mum's presents around, I'll come back and film film the video um so yeah that's the plan i'm gonna head out to sainsbury's now and then when i get back in i'm gonna literally put my pajamas on uh, maybe put a face mask on and uh, make some tea and probably just chill for the rest of the evening so yeah i'm gonna go to sainsbury's now and try not to buy anything that i don't need which is gonna be hard because i actually really love sainsbury's like especially the clothing and homeware <laughs> Macy's shirt off that she's been wearing. Are you naked? Are you naked? Can you say? Sit. Good. morning it is now friday which is my mum's birthday so i'm just getting ready to go around and give her her presents and then we are going to go food shopping to get some bits for the party tomorrow and we're going to go to a cafe for lunch um so yeah that's the plan um i had a really chilled evening last night well i actually had to go to tesco first because we'd went to sainsbury's and asda looking for some like blue icing and i just couldn't find anything and i don't know if i've mentioned on the video but the cake that i'm doing for my mum, i'm just decorating like a ready made cake um and she obviously 
you know won't really care too much what it looks like but i want to make it sea themed because she's going on a cruise for her birthday um so i want to make it like blue and i've got some like little starfish and octopus and like little like um icing decorations so i wanted some blue icing on the top and i could not find any anywhere so we had to go to tesco last night um and then when i got home i came upstairs and i watched one of louise pendant's videos she was actually talking about is my i don't know if my camera's um dirty it doesn't look that clear is that better i feel like that's better um yeah watch one of louise pentland's videos where she was talking about burnout which is really strange that she's uploaded that literally yesterday because that's how obviously i'm feeling at the minute um so i feel like it just came at just the right time um so i sat and watched that eating ice cream you know living my best life and i practiced making a little phone chart which i will show you two seconds so I'm gonna try and pick it up without the beads going everywhere because I had literally done a full side um, and I put like some sticky tape on the end so that it didn't fall off because I think with a phone charm obviously you have this loop that goes onto the actual phone or the case and then I'm pretty sure you just once you've done both sides you tie it um, but the tape fell off <laughs> and so did all the beads so I've got them all on this little dish which is so cute by the way it's off um, sheen it's very like pearlescent um but yeah that's the kind of vibe that i was going for like pink white blue and green and little flowers um i feel like this might make quite a small phone charm like smaller than mine but i just wanted a little practice run before i do them properly so i'm gonna finish getting ready i'm wearing my spotty dress which i mentioned in one of my clothing hauls i absolutely love this um i just really like the style and the pattern it's very flowy because again it's really warm i'm actually disappointed by the sun and the heat because i think i just got it in my head that obviously it's not autumn but the weather had been so rubbish i just kind of felt like summer was over um i think i put way too much of this spf tinted like product on um but yeah, my head, like, I feel like summer was over. So the fact that it's hot, I'm like, ugh. it's just because I can't get stuff done. Like, I'm too hot to get, like, all the housework done. And I just feel a lot more tired um, quicker. Um, and my hair feels quite bad as well. So it's just not a great time for me, summer, to be honest. Um, but yeah, so I'm just going to finish getting ready. And then I'm going to head out shopping. And I'll check back in with you in a bit. I know it's going to take 10 years off you. Hair bobblies. Nice orange calypso. Tastes like a calypso. Nice. You could be a vlogger, you know. Could I? Yeah. <laughs> I don't it's, think I have the confidence to vlog. You should start a channel. You could vlog your cream. <clears throat> oh, and some look. Look at this skin on them hairs. Come back next week and have a look. <laughs> oh my so i just thought i would check in with you quickly um so obviously i went shopping i then went to pick up some parcels from work which i'm going to give you a little sneak peek of and then when i got home i sat and made a present for my mom 
then had a little break and had tea while watching Manifest and then made Jess's phone charm. Um, I did take some little videos so I will include those now but I'm honestly so happy with how they turned out but I was sat for a very long time doing it like definite concentration mode was on um, and then went to my mum and dad's to take our outdoor furniture round because obviously they're having a party tomorrow in the garden so took that round to give my mum the bracelet and just her phone charm and um, I'm now just going to finish the one that I was doing last night um which is here I'm gonna finish doing this one um I took some really nice pictures so I definitely think I'm gonna put them on my new little Instagram um but yeah I just thought I would do a little sneak peek of these oh i also got um a load of photos delivered from free prints um because i'm going to start scrapbooking so i've got those delivered i won't go through those now though um but yeah it's just been a very busy day and um, tomorrow is obviously my mum's party so i'm probably gonna get up and do as much cleaning as I can because the house has turned into a bit of a mess um, and then the party's not till the evening anyway like tea time but I'm looking forward to that so sneak peek of what I got firstly some skincare and um, this is a brand I've never heard of and never tried before but this product looks amazing it is the Strivectin multi-action super c retinol brighten and correct vitamin c serum and it is so pretty I'm not going to get it out of the box but it looks so so nice I can't wait to try that um I think tomorrow as well if I've got time I might sit and film some beauty hauls because I've got quite a lot of vlogs ready to edit and upload but not any sit down beauty hauls um so I might do some of those tomorrow if I can and then I've got a really lovely package from Amika um, I've got a shampoo, a conditioner, and then I think this is like a serum. Yeah, hydrating hair oil. Um, so I'm really looking forward to trying these. These are for dry hair, which I definitely have. Um, so I can't wait to give those a go. Um, this along with the Charles Worthington hair care that I got the other week. Like, I'm not going to need any more hair care for the year, probably. Like, I'm going to be well stocked up. But yeah, I'm really looking forward to trying them i'm now just gonna as i said just chill make that little phone charm and then probably go to bed um obviously i've not had a massive amount to film but equally i'm trying to only pick up the camera as and when i feel like i've got something worthy to show you because i get into a habit of filming everything and anything and sometimes it just ends up being so chaotic and rambly so yes at least i've got a nice weekend planned and i will probably just catch back up with you in Oh, and I might actually watch some YouTube tonight as well while making the phone charm. Good morning. It is now Saturday. I'm just getting ready for the day. So I just thought I would check in with you quickly. Um, I've been trying to get as much housework done as possible this morning. Obviously, with it being the party this evening. So I'm just getting like the main things done, like the cat litter, the bin, the washing up, the bathroom, the kitchen, that kind of thing, and laundry, lots and lots of laundry. Um I went to edit my craft video because I wanted to literally film it yesterday, edit and upload it all in the same day. I added it to my editing app, 87 minutes long. And I was like, um, that's gonna take, yeah, probably about two, well, an hour and a half to two hours to completely edit that. Um, And I was just like, yeah, too tired last night. So I'm gonna try and do it today. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna like go on it, edit like five to 10 minutes, do something go back edit another 10 minutes and do it that way so hopefully this evening it will be up but i did really enjoy doing it and just getting ready for the day because i'm about to take macy for a walk and um, she's quite bored now Um, i feel like she's pretty healed after her um spare so i think it's getting back to normal now and starting to take her on walks again and uh, because i can see that she's obviously full of energy and getting a bit bored now and um, so that's what i'm going to do i'm going to get ready i'm going to take her for a walk and then i'm going to continue cleaning um i do want to sit down and film a oh, I can't get my eye cream out i want to sit down and film a beauty haul today as well if i've got time 
Um, and you're just going to have a really nice day. Oh, and I need to decorate my mum's cake. Can't forget that. Um, so I'll probably do that. Because I don't want to do it too early, but I don't want to do it too late. Because um, I got like a drip icing thing. Um, so that'll need time to set. So I might do that around lunchtime because the party's tea time. And then it's got enough time to do its thing. Um, but yeah, so I will check it back in with you in a bit and see what I get up to. Okay, so I know <laughs> I want it to be autumn, but I'd literally just put my washing out and now it's raining. So I've just had to run out and grab everything. Sunday and I just thought I would check in with you while I get ready so obviously last night was my mum's party we had such a good night and honestly like party food is just so good so I was enjoying myself eating that and um, there's still loads left today as well so I was like well I'll just have to come out for dinner um, but it's really nice obviously family time Um, my mum really liked the cake which is cute um, and then obviously just you know like listen to music and things my mum actually got drunk and my mum does not drink so the fact that she got drunk was quite funny to be honest um but yeah had a really good evening Jess did my makeup which you will have seen and oh my god how stunning like she is so good at makeup um and I obviously loved how I looked but it made me kind of doubt how I look when I don't wear makeup like not obviously that you have to wear makeup to look good but i 
just honestly felt like I had such a confidence boost last night um and I used to really enjoy doing my makeup and now I think I've just got a bit lazy with it um you know I'm all natural makeup kind of more in fashion now but generally I just have got a lot lazier with makeup and I had filmed a video yesterday and I've got I think I've got like a hair on me yeah I have um I filmed a video yesterday and when I watched it back the lighting was really bad um you know I've done my makeup but like something didn't look right I don't know if it was my lashes because I hadn't curled my lashes and like my eyes just look strange to me when I watch the video back um but as I said the lighting was just awful as well so I'm getting ready today I'm making an effort with my hair and makeup and I'm going to sit and refilm the video which seems a bit silly considering I've already filmed it but it just means that hopefully the second take will be more streamlined obviously I'm just doing like a little haul and talking about products so it's products that you know I've already been using it's not like it's first impressions or anything so it's something that I can just refilm so that's the plan this morning I've just let Macy out and played with her for a bit and give her a breakfast just so I can leave her downstairs while I film this video and then I'm going to take her out for a walk um I feel like I need to go food shopping today if my mum is still alive after last night I think it's just going to be a normal Sunday for me so normally on a Sunday I clean the house I do a food shop I try and chill I wash my hair all of that kind of stuff um i might make some more bracelets as well um, and phone charms because i've got quite a few little requests now to do um so i'm looking forward to that and i've made myself an etsy and an instagram so it's called no yeah crafty charm core <laughs> what i got some strawberries i always get strawberries that's my favorite fruit instead of doing salmon and broccoli um i got cod melt in the middle fish cakes with baby potatoes and some peas and then instead of having a chicken stir fry we're gonna have hunter's chicken i know these aren't the healthiest options but we've had um salmon and broccoli and chicken stir fry like every week for weeks now so i'm getting a little bit bored um some eggs i'm gonna do egg fried rice um with that and the frozen vegetables for work and then i normally take some refrigerators as well got some pasta because i've already got some pasta sauce in the cupboard um a little salad cheese coleslaw and some wraps and then i got these safari chicken nuggets for james just while he's off i thought they were funny um toilet roll milk and pepsi max as always um some crepes some chocolate bars these are all like fit when all they were um half price and then i've got some little pouches to make macy some licky mats i also got her one of these cheese bones because um obviously they just keep her entertained for a bit and that is my little haul so i'm gonna pop this away and um, take macy for a walk and then continue to clean the house I'm now just heading out to my mum and dad's to have leftover party food for lunch and I cannot tell you how excited I am. I'm also starving so I'm going to go there, have that and then when I get back I might chill for a bit and watch Heartstopper um, and then continue cleaning. I love Sundays. I've also got Sunday scaries because I've been off for five days and I feel like although I've had a nice five days, I could do with another five at least.
so i just thought i would check in with you i've got all of my housework done which i'm really pleased about and i'm currently just sat crafting so i'm just making some little charms i'm watching one of louise pentland's craft videos which is what inspired me to do it too so i've just made this one which is yellow and cat themed um and i'm just on with this one at the moment which is green and purple if you can see that very well but yeah i'm having a really good time just sitting here and just really kind of unwinding like i'm not really thinking about anything i'm just watching a video and just being able to like be in the moment um i don't know if i mentioned on this vlog or if it was in the craft video but i do plan on maybe selling some um I'm not going to go like too full on with it but obviously if I make any extras that aren't like relevant to anyone I know um, then I might just pop them on my little Etsy and sell them. If I'm bored I might um, see if anybody wants any custom ones so yeah that's what I'm just doing at the moment. 